Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications, hit the like button on this video. I'm just coming to y'all make a little real quick short video. I just want to remind y'all, and they all know this, a lot of y'all do, but we all just need that reminder. When we get done kikiing it up and talking about the peaches of the world, the ditties, and all the madness going on all over the world, it's real out here, y'all. It is freaking real and it's scary, but that don't mean be scared. Be prepared, be ready, be prayerful, try to treat yourself and others as well as you possibly can. Stay safe, keep your head on the swivel. A lot of us know that there's a strike that's about to take place October the 1st, 2024, if they do not come to some agreement. And it's not looking good according to sources. This strike will affect all uh, shipments of foods and goods. They say one day of them striking will set us back seven days. 30 days will set us back. It'll be like a devastation. So at the end of the day, y'all, we got to prepare. Any little money you got, extra money. Even if you get money every two weeks, every month, you like good. You've been good. You go shopping, you no problem. Think of it like this. Better be prepared than not. Because if there's a strike, y'all, we can't assume because we might get money a certain day. And we can just go to the store every two weeks like clockwork that the store is going to have what we need. So you have to stock up. A lot of the migrants have been getting big money. I mean, they come to food stamps and cash. They've been getting a lot of resources. Not all of them, but a big, big majority of them are doing well. While the U.S., United States, American citizens are doing bad or barely making it. They are stocking up those migrants. They are going in them stores, stocking up and stuff. They might be selling it. They might be doing whatever they're doing, but they're doing better than a lot of people. So make sure you got all size batteries. Make sure you got all canned goods, tuna fish, ravioli, beans, just in case there's an outage and you can't plug nothing up. That's just on GP for any day of the week. Nothing to do with the strike. It could just be a, a devastation. It could be tornadoes. It could be outages. It could be war. It could be all kind of stuff that's possibly going on that we are distracted by or we just don't know because they're not telling us. We've been telling each other throughout these past at least two, three years heavy to prepare. And it's not no doggone uh, fear tactic, fear mongering, none of that. It's real, y'all. We've been through something like this during the shutdown when we could barely get tissue and water and the shells were very, very low. So just think if this really happened. Better safe than sorry, right? Like I said, if you can, get you a little generator, handheld, or a small one for under $200. Or if you got it like that, get you one for $500 or $3,000 to ensure that you can plug up some stuff should there be an outage. Make sure you got flashlights, the good kind. Not those little dollar store ones. It's cool to have those too, but get you some of those black ones that have the real big like spotlight. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know the name of them though. Get that. Get you a hand crank radio. Uh, get you some walkie talkies. Stock up on all the type of water you can. Mostly spring water if you can. Because I'm noticing Walmart is basically having a lot of great value. Or don't I don't mess with nothing great value. But I got some in there I didn't know no better. But I'm not gonna throw it out because just in case that we do reach some really bad times, at least we'll have that great value to survive off of. I'll get in the comments. And let me know if you're stocking up. Don't take for granted nothing, y'all. October first, it may really go down. And if it ain't then, we never know when it.